right, we are back to work. Uh, we finished up last night. Amber's grinning, getting ready to unveil the range. But we finished up last night by working on the platform that goes in here that holds the microwave. But we're taking a break from that because we're going to unveil the new range. Are you excited, hon? I am. I'm nervous. Nervous because it's so huge? Yeah. Nervous because we have to move it across the uh, yeah. family room into the kitchen by ourselves? Yeah. What could go wrong? And I went back and forth, you know, between standard depth and then the big you know, extra the deep. extra inches for the professional so yep all right so it's gonna be exciting though it is ready yep can i take this box off the top off yeah Doo -doo -doo. wow it's more packaging, oh, more packaging. <laughs> but it is the important stuff there there's the manual the meat thermometer probe burners Is that a griddle? More burners. There's the oh, burner cover. star. Yeah. There's across the top of the burners. Nice. Got some sort of pan. I don't know. That must have just came out of here. Woohoo! Very exciting. What are those? I don't know. Awesome. Okay, metal boxes. Check. Manual. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I might read it before I try to install it. What do you think? Better. More cardboard. Oh, I see uh, parts there on top. I thought these are great. Yep. Yeah. Nice. These look heavy. Wow, all three at once. Just don't drop them on the microwave. I don't know. All right. More packaging. Woo! You see the top? Yes. Oh, it's a let down. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Let I down. Get it. Dead joke. Spread. Wow. Let's see. Six burner. Six burners. 36 inch. See some controls. Most important thing, it's gas. Finally, after all these years. I've never had a gas range. Looks really awesome. Looks really heavy. I know. Do not lift by control panel. Yeah, okay, you heard it there first. Good advice. All right, so I guess we'll, uh, Take this box off next. So we have to pry it apart at the uh, corner over here okay. along the glued seam it said. How difficult that's gonna be. Boys might like these. Yeah, swords. Or, or swords. Yeah. Beat each other with them. Yeah. We need a cameraman or a camera woman. That just means for, uh, oh, yeah, good stuff. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now, what are you supposed to do now? Uh, I think you're supposed to pry the uh, box loose from the bottom of the, pull the box loose from the staples on the pallet. I don't doubt you are. Yeah! Careful, they're sharp. Yeah. According to the box. Somebody left a saw on the way. Uh, never have enough room. Well, it's because this place is half workshop, half house, half uh, warehouse. That's three halves. Woo! Oh, it's a beauty! Oh my goodness. Shot of the front here. Look at those knobs. Oh. Temperature. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh. Gorgeous. And it's made in America. America. It's American. American. Yeah, we got to support our uh, American workers. That's why I like to throw the door from the start. 
All right, well, uh, let me help you with the rest of the uh, packaging here, and we'll try to figure out how we're gonna put this thing in place. Looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Famous last words. Should be easy, right? 30 minutes. Yeah, Tops. 20, 25 maybe. All right, we're gonna see what we can get into here. All right, we got it unboxed and off of the pallet. That was fun, wasn't it, hun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We had to use some uh, forearm furniture moving straps, these doodads, to uh, lift it up high enough to get it off the pallet. The pallet had uh, cross braces on it, so we couldn't just like slide it off. We had to get down to the floor so we could get it on the, uh, the dolly. So we got it in position now. Now we just gotta get the strap around it and get it up in the air. <laughs> that should be fun and uh, rolled across the kitchen. Weaving through the uh, beverage center area here, and then finally over here into position where we can kind of get it on the paper and then slide it back in. Sounds simple, doesn't it, babe? Easy peasy. <laughs> All right, let's give it a whirl. All right, we did it. We got it uh, through the maze here. What do you think, hon? Wasn't too bad, was it? Like I said, actually it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it really wasn't. So we're gonna unstrap it from the dolly and then we'll go ahead and slide it back into position. As I mentioned before, we still have to get uh, the plumber to come out and make final connections. He's gotta yeah. install the gas line and then that uh, wire they just kind of left there because they weren't exactly sure where things were going. Uh, so they just left it long. It actually has to go down to the bottom right. So they'll have to take that out and install a box down there in the bottom right for the Electric cookup that just powers the electric portion of it. It's a gas oven and a gas cooktop, but you know the controls and yeah. that sort of stuff, the Wi-Fi and all the fanciness yeah. are uh, run off 110 house current. Everything else is gas. All right, so what do you want to do? You want to get it unstrapped and slide it in there? Yeah, Put the door on. See what it looks like. Yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, so apparently Amber is in love with uh, her new range. We've been replaced. It's cool. It's fine. It's, uh, it's handsome, Ooh, it's rugged, sleek, hardworking. <laughs> We've got a lot in common. You do. I think it fits the space ni nicely, though, don't you? Mm -hmm. Here, let's uh, let's light it up. Yeah, let's see it's here. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Now it's glowing. So we're gonna leave all the protective stuff on there for now because we've gotta pull it back out after the countertop. People get here to make their template so that the uh, plumber or electrician can get in there and make final connections for us. And then we can remove all the yeah. stuff. Or maybe we leave it on there till the, till the uh, countertop people get done. I don't know. We may, yeah, I don't know. But it's gorgeous and it's almost functional. Almost. <laughs> it doesn't have electric or gas. Doesn't have electric or gas, but man, it looks good in that hole. So it's nice to see some appliances. So now we got uh, the dishwasher and the uh, range soon, the microwave. I got to finish my uh, platform there. And then later today we'll start on the oven. You're being optimistic. <laughs> it's already noon. It's going to happen. Well, I hope so. Maybe if we have some pool time and yeah. it's awful kid nice. Time. Kid time. Kids? Oh yeah, the kids. It's an awfully nice day out there. Really makes me wanna makes me wanna hit the pool, hon. Sure. Oh, look at that water. That azure blue water. Call my name. Big cannonball right off that diving board. Alright, well, I think we're gonna grab a bite to eat. And then we'll uh head back down and try to wrap up that microwave enclosure now that we tackled the range. That thing just looks darn good, doesn't it? It does. Beautiful. I love both the uh, analog gauge and the digital. It's a neat contrast in technology. Mm -hmm. Wow, I should write the uh, brochure for Thermidor, shouldn't I? You know, I thought one other quality, I can talk to it <laughs> through Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> one more thing you have in common. Just today. like your husband. <laughs> <laughs> We're both connected all the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, all right. Enough about me. Let's go get some lunch. All right, the platform is in. I uh, took the grinder with the flat disc on there and clearanced the frame a little bit so it would slide past the screw heads and then cut a piece of three quarter inch ply to go over top of that. Made sure it was in there nice and level with the opening in the front there. And in theory, should just be able to slide the microwave right into place. It'll rest on that platform. And then there's four screws that go through the trim panel into the cabinet itself. Only thing left to do here is to install the box for the plug-in. And that gets screwed to the back of uh, this cabinet here. And these other two wires are for an outlet. And we're going to run those to the back, as I mentioned. Uh, put an outlet under the edge of the counter there that we can use to plug into appliances. What do you think, hon? It looks great. <laughs> you ready to slide that microwave into place? Yes. All right, go get it. <laughs> All by myself? Yeah. All right, fine. Let's. I'll help you. Let's go get it. Wow. Whoa. That is pretty. Very pretty. Tape. All right. Looks nice. Wow. So yeah, we got four screws to go on the lower panel there where the door is. Okay. Those screw into the frame of the cabinet. Where are they? Underneath the door. Okay. You can't see them. Okay. And then our box will go back here. Cool. And it just plugs in. To unwind the cord there wow. and plug her in. Okay. So it shouldn't be too challenging. No. Ha ha. <laughs> Compared to cutting the hole. Ugh. Yeah, that was. That was brutal. Pleasant. All right, good stuff. What's next? You do good work. Thanks. You too. Since you did such a good job doing this one. Yeah. It's basically the same process for the other. Just oh. A bigger hole. Oh joy. Okay. Guess I know what's up next, huh? <laughs> All right, Amber's excited because what's next, honey? Oven. The unveiling of the oven. I don't crack myself. Cut away from yourself. I am. N not into the box. <laughs> well, how are you supposed to do it? I could show you, but I'm taping. The next part should be easy. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. Woo. Wow. Okay. We'd have read the uh, instructions. instructions probably said cut the tape, remove wood packing I from top. So. <laughs> it's like the other one. Oh, well. But it wouldn't have been nearly as exciting. Actually, I didn't say anything on this box about uh, opening. Actually, this one looks like it's on fire. Well, yeah, okay. So. Oh, that's going to be easy. Sort of question we have, huh? Three big wire nuts. It'll be done. Wow, it's beautiful. All right, let's get a look at this bad boy. Mm-mm-mm. Just, just like the, the other one. That's going to look nice. Yep. So people might be wondering why we didn't do one big stove. Mm-hmm. Do tell. And I wanted one, but 
we could really only fit a 48 inch, the 60 inch we just didn't have the right space for. And cost wise, it was cheaper to separate it. Mm -hmm. And I felt like a six burner was sufficient. I, <laughs> I guess. Think we'll able, I think we'll be able to manage. You have to space. get by. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, I would have, and, and the 48 inch, you get one regular sized and then one small. Yeah. So I just didn't think that that was as usable. It's 236. It. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, you know, it'll be, yeah. it'll be fine. It, uh, you know, you'll yeah. have more than enough room to do all your baking around the holidays. Yeah. And... Oh, for sure. Yeah. Bring on the casseroles. <laughs> and the cookies, right? <laughs> and cookies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Good work. Let's uh, figure out how to install it. All right. All right. We're working on making the hole in the last cabinet much larger. The oven takes up a significant amount of space in this lower cabinet. So we had to remove the floor of the cabinet. That's what that is. And you can see the blocking that they had in there. It's pretty wimpy, just one by four stuff. So we're gonna remove that as well. And right now I'm in the process of removing this piece. Just got that out. It was actually screwed and glued. I thought I was gonna get lucky. I took the screws out and thought, oh, that panel's just gonna pop right out. Ah. No, it was, uh, it was well glued, so I had to cut along the seams. Now I've got to take three quarters of an inch out of the width on both sides. So I'm going to do what I did on the microwave cabinet yesterday. I'll start the cut, uh, then I'll drill a hole in the corner, and then I'll put the coping saw in there, and then I'll work my way down a little bit until I can get the pull saw started in there, and then I'll go ahead and cut the rest of it with the pull saw. So once I take three quarters out of, an, out of both sides, I'll be ready to go ahead and build my box and uh, put the plywood on in the basement or the box. <laughs> uh, it's getting late. Once I get the, uh, the box built, I'll put three quarter inch plywood on top of it and we'll be ready to slide the oven into place. It's a beast. So it's gonna take uh, several of us <laughs> to get that thing off of that pallet and uh, get it slid into position. So looking forward to getting that knocked out not going to happen tonight. It's getting late. Got to work tomorrow. So uh, I'll probably go ahead and wrap up after I get the cut made. And then I'll start tomorrow on the uh, box in the base of the cabinet. And hopefully tomorrow evening we can go ahead and get that uh, oven slid into place. We'll see.